sodium salt. Soluritic is a drug that promotes excretion of salt in the urine. Nitriuretic is a drug that promotes excretion of sodium ions in the urine. And cholinergic is a drug that promotes excretion of potassium ions in the urine. The purpose of using diuretics include to maintain the urine volume, for example, at the time of renal failure, to adjust the water and electrolyte balance. to mobilize edema fluid for example at the time of heart failure liver failure nephrotic syndrome and to control the high blood pressure let us see the anatomy and physiology the physiology of the renal system nephron is the most important part of the kidney that regulates fluid and electrolytes the urine formulation the formation include glomerular filtration rate 180 liter per day tubular reabsorption around 98% and tubular secretion this is the internal structure of the kidney here due to the difference in the diameter of the afferent arteriole and efferent arteriole the blood is filtered in the bowman's space where the filtrate is forwarded and it is known as the liminal fluid which passes through the four different parts and where the major ions are reabsorbed they are known as four site site 1 which is responsible for 65% of the filtered load of sodium chloride calcium water 80 to 90% of the filtered load of bicarbonate and 100% filtered load of glucose and amino acid and low molecular weight proteins site 2 include 30% filtered load of sodium ions and 20 to 30% filtered load of calcium ions whereas site 3 is responsible for 5 to 8% filtered load of sodium ions and site 4 which is responsible for 2 to 3% filtered load of sodium ions on the basis of these four sites the diuretics are classified as site 1 carbonic anhydrase inhibitors which is acting as proximal tubule site 2 descending loop of henle where diuretics acting are known as high selling or the loop diuretics site 3 distal tubule diuretics are known as thiazide and thiazide like diuretics and site 4 act, acting at collecting duct which are known as potassium sparing diuretics this is the chemical classification of all these four sites Site one: sulfonamide derivatives, acetazolamide, methazolamide, dichlorophenamide, chlorophenamide. Site two: having different classes: thiosulfamoyl, two amino benzoic acid derivatives, furosemide. Thiosulfamoyl, three amino benzoic acid derivatives, bimetanide. Thio four amino three pyridine sulfonyl urea, torsemide, and phenoxyacetic acid, ethacranic acid. Site three: thiazide and thiazide-like derivatives. chlorothiazide benzthiazide hydrochlorothiazide hydrofluorothiazide benzofluorothiazide chlorothiazide and methylchlorothiazide site 4 spironolactone amyloride and trimetrin these are the drugs further classified in detail site 1 site 2 site 3 site 4 chemical class well, mechanism of action include most diuretic exert their effect by inhibiting tubular sodium and water reabsorption by epithelial cell lining the renal tubule system certain diuretics such as carbonic anhydrase loop diuretics thiazide di like diuretics and potassium sparing diuretics suppress sodium and water reabsorption by inhibiting the function of the specific proteins or enzymes that are responsible for or participate in transportation of the electrolytes across the epithelial membrane certain osmotic diuretics inhibit water and sodium reabsorption by increasing intratubular osmotic pressure different types of the diuretics may inhibit different transporters in different segments of the tubular system carbonic anhydrase inhibitors site 1 the enzyme carbonic anhydrase helps to make h plus ion available for ex exchange with sodium and water in the proximal tubules therefore carbonic anhydrase block the action of this carbonic anhydrase enzyme thus preventing the exchange of h plus ions with sodium and water reduces h plus ion concentration in the renal tubules that result in increased excretion of bicarbonate sodium water and potassium ions reabsorption of the water is decreased and urine volume is increased this is the sar of this drug site 1 this carbonic anhydrase inhibitors are having the side effects like metabolic acidosis anorexia hematuria photosensitivity and melena site 2 loop diuretics or high selling act directly on the ascending limb of the, of the loop of henle to inhibit the chloride and sodium reabsorption increase renal prostaglandins resulting in the dilation of the blood vessels and reduced 
peripheral vascular resistance these are the drugs thiosemide vimetanide torsemide and ethyl acid these drug effects include potent diuresis and subsequent lot of loss of the fluid decreased fluid volume causes reduced blood pressure reduced pulmonary vascular resistance reduced systemic vascular resistance reduced central venous pressure reduced left ventricular end diastolic pressure potassium and sodium depletion these are the drugs and their structures cr site 2 it often of acetic acid sr important loop diuretics furosemide the first loop diuretic in the market administered orally and parenteral iv and im route bimetanide 40 times more potent particularly useful in patients who are unresponsive to other diuretics well absorbed orally ethacranic acid potent loop diuretic these are the adverse effect of this loop diuretic cns dizziness headache blood vision gi nausea vomiting diarrhea hematologic side effect agranulocytosis neutropenia neutropenia metabolic hypokalemia hyperglycemia thyroid and side thyroid like diuretics site 3 mechanism acts in the distal convoluted tubule inhibit tubular reabsorption of the sodium chloride and potassium ions that result in water and sodium and chloride are excreted potassium is also excreted to a lesser extent dilate the arterioles by direct relaxation that results in lowered peripheral vascular resistance sodium water chloride and potassium are excreted examples of the drugs sr these are the structures potassium sparing diuretics interfere with the sodium potassium exchange in the collecting duct and convoluted tubule competitively in bind to the aldosterone receptors and block the reabsorption of sodium and water prevent potassium from being pumped into the tubule thus preventing its secretion that's why potassium sparing competitively block the aldosterone receptors and inhibit its action sodium and water are excreted again these are the types of the potassium sparing diuretics aldosterone receptor antagonist and direct membrane stabilizers aldosterone antagonists are spironolactone and membrane stabilizers are amyloride and trimeterin these are the structures side effect of site for diuretics potassium sparing cns dizziness headache gi cramps nausea vomiting diarrhea and other urinary frequency frequency and weakness and major is the hyperkalemia increase in the potassium concentration osmotic diuretics that work mostly in the proximal tubule non absorbable producing a osmotic effect pull water into the renal tubules from the surrounding tissues inhibits tubular reabsorption of the water in solutes increases glomerular filtration in renal plasma and reduces ex excessive intraocular pressure Osmotic diuretics side uh, effects adverse effect con that convulsions and these examples are mannitol intravenous infusion uh, is given only thanks very much session are awaited at pharmacy_2003@medical.com all the best